the hanging of the work in two parts. Uh, the first part would be the more public space, which is uh, the space that we're standing in at the moment, uh, with this uh, large open window. The, the first piece that we, so we encounter here is a, a five section door piece. Uh, the, using the door as a metaphor uh, uh, in terms of uh, opening and closing and allowing light in and shutting light out. Uh, this first piece here, uh, the, the, uh, the treatment of the surface is, uh, is a sunrise. So this is like, uh, you know, just at the break of dawn. Uh, in a way, and uh, so what we have here is a sunrise element uh, coming out of this work, um, and then we have these constellations of sunglasses uh, in between the door works. Uh, at the far end of the room, we have a piece called revolver, and this is a, a revolving door, uh, or it gives you the notion of a revolving door. Um, it's at the very end of the room. There's no where else you can go except turn and come back out of the room again. And, uh, and as you do that, we encounter another sunglass lens piece, constellation. And then the final piece here is, uh, is a sunset. Uh, it's a three section door piece as well. So here we are in the upstairs space, a uh, much more intimate private space. Uh, on, on the way up, we passed uh, uh, Three section door piece uh, called Petricor Greenfinch, and uh, as we come into the space, uh, the first the first piece that we encounter is uh, a piece called Sleeper, and it, which quite literally is a, a, a railway sleeper, uh, untreated, just uh, just as we as we found it, uh, suspended just at pillow height from restrung beads. In many ways, it's pivotal to the to the show. Uh, the idea of being in a, in a more kind of dream state, you know, the REM moment uh, before we wake up, the, the where are we, um, and, and and trying to recognise the surroundings again. The psychedelic soul stick is made from a bamboo spine, and it has uh, odd elements, uh, a sellotape to it, like bottle caps, beads. Sort of quasi-religious object, in a way, could be putting an energy into the room, but it also uh, talks about uh, possibly uh, the the body and, and how the body lives in two spaces at the same time, and uh, and then that leads us on also to the the film piece, which is indeed a self-portrait. Uh, each it's called self self-portrait in seven parts, and we have seven screens. And on each screen, we have, uh, I, I appear and spray out, uh, spray out the lens with a, a single colour. On each screen, that happens three times. And there is a, a time, dif time frame difference each time I do it. So we have one minute, two minute, and three minute uh, time differences. And that's across seven screens. Now, whenever we switch that on, the, the each screen starts up on its own, and the, the, the combinations are endless now. This work can never ever repeat itself. Both spaces are uh, continually talking to each other with the spray paint, with the self portrait spray painting myself out, but also with the finishes uh, on, the, on the doors themselves, with the, with the gradations of sp uh, spray paint. Thinking about the circular breathing. Uh, when playing an instrument and trying to create that sort of emotion going, going through the show uh, between the upstairs and the downstairs and upstairs, downstairs. And there's an endlessness about that also.